culture and heritage of Punjab are rich. Punjabis are known for food, clothes and fun in the world. As such, Fulkari, a woman's wear, depicts the rich culture of Punjab. Fulkari making in Punjab is an ancient art, a true folk art. In the olden days, the main motive of Fulkari was for marriages. It was prepared by the family women for their own and for the other family members. Fulkari making was a purely domestic art. In the marriages, brides were given dozens of different types of Fulkaris in dowry. It maintained the status of the bride's family. The origin of Fulkari dates back to 15th century, though in the absence of evidence and documentation it cannot be confirmed. Some say that Fulkari took birth during Hivranja love story 1725 to 1790. One more theory works that the Jat tribes of East Punjab, basically peasants, migrated from Central Asia, were the pioneers of this art. This theory is believable because Bibi Nanki, sister of Guru Nanak Dev Ji, first Sikh Guru, used to give embroidered handkerchiefs to her brother. Some say it had migrated from Persian art, where it was known as Gulkari. Gul means flower and Kari means work. Fulkari has the same meaning. Bag is also one of the forms of Fulkari. Fulkari and Bags were worn by women of Punjab of all ages during marriage festivals and other joyous occasions. Fulkari and Bags were embroidered by the women folk to satisfy their inner urge for creation, but it brought color to day-to-day -day life. In the 19th century, people became passionate for Fulkari. Fulkari ka origin kafi time pehle hua, so 150 saal pehle ki baat hai. Jab log banate the isko Fulkari ko, apne shadiyo mein ye use hoti thi jada tar, apni betiyo ko ye gift kiya jata tha Fulkari. Wahan se start hua Fulkari. Fulkari and bags were of many types for different occasions. Bag, the garden. When whole cloth is covered with embroidery, it is called bag. It could be termed as a technical culmination in the art of Fulkari. Only the families having great wealth used to purchase bag. Thirma, this type of Fulkari was from North Punjab, loved by both Hindus and Sikhs. Its white color was called Thirma. Darshan Dwar, the Fulkari on which a temple or Gurdwara was embroidered to show the deity. Senchi Fulkari, this Fulkari depicted village life. Figures of animals and birds used to be embroidered. Varida Bagh, this type of Fulkari was to be given to bride by her in-laws. It had squares on it embroidered with single golden or orange colored pat. Bhavan Bagh, this Fulkari have 52 patterns on it. Cho, Cho Fulkari used to be provided to the newly born by his or her nanny, maternal grandmother. It was also used to wrap the bride after bath. Surjmukhi. Surjmukhi flowers were the patterns of this Fulkari. Kauri Bagh. Kauris were sometimes used as currency. This Fulkari had that. Pacharanga Bagh. It was made of five colors. Minakshi or Ikka Bagh. It was often made of golden and white colored pat. Subair, 
Subair Fulkhari was born and even today is born at the time of Anand Karj. Cloth has five patrons, embroidered one in the center and four at the corners. A seven color Fulkhari was known as Satrangi. Tilpatra Fulkhari was embroidered as tills, sesamum seeds have been sprinkled on the cloth. Nilak Fulkhari was made of a black or red background with yellow or bright red embroidery. Ghungat Bagh type of Fulkhari was heavily embroidered around the center. It is said to be originated in Rawalpindi, now in Pakistan. Chamas Mirrors are sewn into the cloth with yellow, gray or blue thread. In the olden days, Fulkhari basically was a family affair. The cloth was weaved, thread was manually spinned and dyed with natural colors. No doubt, Fulkhari making was and is a magnificent art technique of Punjab. Actually, this was the art of villages. This store was in 1970. My mother and father were doing this work. When Pakistan was in the same time, there was no one in the same time, there was no one in the same time, there was no one in the same time. There was no one in the same time. This is why we had a good job. Fulkari was embroidered on coarse hand woven cloth with floss silk thread. The main characteristics of Fulkari embroidery were the use of darn stitch on the wrong side of coarse cloth with colored silken thread. The women of Punjab really created innumerable, alluring, and interesting designs and patterns by their skillful manipulation of the tarn stitch. To provide beauty, floss silk was used, which used to come from Kashmir, Afghanistan, and Bengal in strands. China also used to supply best quality of silk. Red color was mostly used, being it auspicious. Fulkari had and still have place in poetry and folklore, low geats. Women used to sit in trinjans together for spinning and they used to sing collectively. Utte Fulkari, Merendi Kwari, Sasput Pradesh Nutoriai. Sir Fulkari, Hat Chum Kangan, Pair Paje Bapa. चंद पर आगे आइए जाइए चंद पर आगे वारी दर कुंजन दी सोनी कड्डी मुंह तो चुक फुलकारी ती होवे त तन होवे क्या जी ओ निरतन ती ना होवे देया लाख फुलकारियां जिथे ती दा आदर होवे ए फुलकारी मेरी मां ने कड्डी इन कुटकुट जफियां पावा फुलकारी हैज ए मैग्निफिसेंट प्लेस in Punjabi songs. Gidda paaya, meel nachaya, ho gai jaan di tiyari, haakaan kar vajjiyaan, chhad mitra fulkari. Vatto vatt turi jandi si me khetnu, addiyan de naal poor di si retnu, turi jandi ne nazar jad maari, ve kankan da rang udaya, meri uddi vek fulkari. Paave fulkari utte bel buttiyaan, mitra de chadre te paade morni, Patiala Fulkari. Though the real Fulkari work was 100 to 150 years old and has almost disappeared, but is still alive in Patiala, Tripuri Sedna, the biggest and only center of Fulkari now is Patiala in Punjab. The main reason is that the workwomen of Fulkari settled in Bahawalpur district, now in Pakistan, migrated to Patiala and made it their home since partition. Today, this place is known as Tripuri Sedna. Tripuri Sedna Patiala is the biggest and the only center of Fulkari 
where you can find fulkari of any type. Actually, fulkari work was done by the Hindu community living in Bahawalpur district, now in Pakistan, who migrated to Patella at the time of partition. The women fulkari workers are still dedicated to this art and can be seen darning fulkari sitting in the streets of Tripuri Seda. Though this domestic art is on the peril now, but the old women are still keeping this art alive. We found a woman, Savitri Devi, who is 80 years old, stitching fulkari. New generations are not keen in this art, as there is much labor and few outcomes. Fulkari from Patiala is exported to many countries of the world, where Punjabis are settled. USA, UK, Canada, Australia are the main importers. Fulkari is worn by the Punjabi women with charm and joy, and they don't keep their weight in control when in Fulkari. There are a lot of Fulkari stores in Tripuri Seda, like Rana Fulkari, Taneja Fulkari, Shammi Clothes Store, but Corner Dupatta Store is the oldest and the biggest. Fulkari making is in the unorganized sector. It's a traditional craft, but no assistance is given to the Fulkari makers. Now, machines are taking place in making Fulkari. In the modern times, Fulkari has taken shape on shawls, bed sheets, dupattas, shirts, salwar kameez, and cushions. We have found Fulkari designs on fans also. Patiala Fulkari is unique. Exotic designs of Fulkari.